What's up everybody? Rage here. Today we're going to do something a little different than a normal video. We're going to take a look at this brand new Tramp Freighter ship. See if it's any good. See if it sucks. Just take a look at it. See what's up with it. So first inspection by default, it does come with two sails. Up front we have a uh, medium handling. In the back we got a large handling. Comes with four cargo racks. Crew quarters in the back is your typical modular setup, a little space. Down below, it's pretty empty. You can put your beds, put your smithy, put storage crates, whatever you want. All right, now let's take a look at the ship stats here. Uh, we have 200 pounds per point invested into weight, 8% for resistance, 4% for sturdiness, 4% for damage, one crew per point, and one bed per point, pretty much just like your typical schooner. And finally, it has a max crew of four. And here you'll see us sailing our level one default tramp freighter. Uh, we did have max wind set, and we also set it to windless so that we have a constant uh, test field here. Looks like it's hitting just over 20 knots, which is actually pretty good. And then here you'll see us cruising at about 50% weight, which is still going 15.5 knots, which is respectable for a decent haul. And then you have us sitting at 90% weight, which is going 6.8 knots, which is pretty balls. That's to be expected at 90% weight, so. And then we're going to switch on over to our large and medium speed sails. And let me tell you, for a cheap-ass boat, this thing will smoke. It goes 28 knots with zero weight. So if you're looking to make some kind of cheap transport real quick and get there fast, not a bad option. And continuing with our dual speed sail setup at 50% weight, we're pulling in a respectable 20.9 knots, which is actually pretty damn fast for the cargo that we're hauling. And at 90% weight with our speed sails, we're sitting roughly around 8.6 knots. And we're going to move into the one large and one medium weight sail. It does raise the overall ship weight from 4,000 to 10,500 pounds. However, the knots is sitting at 16.9, even with minimal ship weight. And moving on to 50% ship weight, we're sitting at 12.1 knots. And sitting at a fat 90% weight, we're going to be going 5.4 knots, which is asking to be sunk by a raft. Now one thing I did want to add is that you can only add one custom module to a common tramp freighter because the four cargo racks use all the module points. So as you can see here, I can put one rowing or one cannon module on. However, if you do find a blueprint for some additional module points, you can add a total of four custom cannon modules, although I would not recommend it. And this is where it gets a little interesting. If you want to add rowing modules, we have to add the front rowing modules first. Otherwise, it'll trap us because there's not enough room between the rowing modules and the stairs. As you can see, I can no longer go to the front of the ship on the middle deck, kind of limiting our storage space by half. So kind of wrapping things up here. I'm not sure how I feel about this ship. It's got some things going for it. It's got some things working against it. Um, some nice things are it's really cheap to make. It costs about as twice as much as a cog, so it's dirt cheap. Uh, it's, it's a lot faster than I think it should be, being that it's designated as a hauler. Uh, going 28 knots with the default sail configuration is kind of nice right out of the gate. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good starting hauler uh, for small companies, uh, solo people even, uh, if you need to move some resources back and forth. And some things that I don't really care for on this particular ship. Uh, the customization on a common is very lacking. Uh, the, the four cargo racks kind of use all of the module points. Therefore, you can only have one rowing module on a common. Um, and you cannot remove the racks, so you can't get any of those points back unless you have, you know, like a blueprint that has more module points. Um, I think the ship is easily outgrown by any medium-sized companies. Um, you know, it can be used by them, obviously, by using it as like a scouting vehicle because uh, it is fast. Uh, the carry capacity on the ship is a little low. 
Actually, it's very low. It's the lowest out of any of the modular ships, which is very ironic considering this is considered a hauling ship. And as far as the combat potential, even if it is just to ward off ships of the damned, I don't think it's worth its weight in cannonballs. Well guys, thanks for hanging around. I hope this information was useful. I hope it answered any questions you guys might have had about the Tramp Freighter. Thanks for watching.